गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर एन्जॉइंग वॉचिंग वीडियोज एंड ऑल्सो लर्निंग अ लॉट फ्रॉम इट माय सेल्फ मिसेस शगुफ्ता शेख सब्जेक्ट टीचर ऑफ ई वी एस वन आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज स्टोरेज ऑफ वॉटर बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आर लेसन देर इज वन एक्टिविटी फॉर यू विच यू हैव टू परफॉर्म एट योर होम मेक स्मॉल हिलॉक ऑफ मड एंड स्टोन्स सेट सम स्टोन्स इन टू द हिलॉक पोर वॉटर ओवर द हिलॉक फ्रॉम अ वॉटरिंग कैन लाइक रेन यू विल नोटिस दैट वॉटर फ्लोज इन द डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन इज इंट इट वॉटर फ्लोज फास्टर ऑन स्टीपर स्लोप्स ऑन जेंटलर स्लोप्स वॉटर फ्लोज कंपेरेटिवली स्लोली when the stone causes an obstruction you can see that water changes the direction and flows rapidly in outward direction direction of flow changes when there is an obstruction now stop pouring water over the hillock what all changes can you see you will observe it and tell me students you will realize that some rain water flows away over the ground some water seeps into the ground all the water we get comes from the rain the rainy season lasts for 3 to 4 months along with us all living things use this water all year round if we do not store water we will not have enough water for our needs that is why we have to save water water must be used economically In this lesson we will see different ways of storing water. Students now we will see how water was stored in olden days. There were several methods of storing water. But now it is rarely used. However, their remains can be seen in all places. Some of them are very beautiful. Water in some of stores never get depleted. students we will see different types of old water stores the first one is wells some rain water seeps into the ground wells are dug to obtain this water usually wells are mostly seen in villages the next is water tanks in fort people lived on the hill forts in the past they also need water the forts had reservoirs and tanks dug into the stone The next is draw wells which is also called as ard in the past draw wells were dug to get drinking water they were small wells from which water was drawn using a small pot which is also called as pohra tied to a rope due to tap water system it went out of use next is rivers and bunds earthen or masonry bunds were built across rivers to store their water Next we'll see old reservoirs. Reservoirs were built in areas of low rainfall or in areas without a major river. Most of the reservoirs were built using stone and mortar. Mortar means a thick mixture of water, sand and cement. The next is old tanks which is also called as howd. Earlier tanks were used to store water. Some large cities still have these old tanks. Some of them are still in use. Students, till now we have seen old water stores. Now we will see recent system of water store. First is dam. Water stored in dams is used for many different purposes such as drinking, cultivation, factories and generating electricity. Maharashtra has large dams such as Jaikwadi, Koyna, Ujni and Yeldari. These four are the major dams of Maharashtra. Next we will see bore wells. Earlier bore wells were dug to reach the water under the ground, but it was not possible to draw deep seated ground water. But now with the help of electric pump it is possible to do so. These bore wells are very deep but very narrow. 
दिस टू व द रिसेंट सिस्टम ऑफ वॉटर स्टोन नेक्स्ट वी विल सी वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज पानपोई ड्रिंकिंग वॉटर पीपल आउट ऑन द रोड नीड वॉटर वेन दे आर थर्स्टी इन सम प्लेसेस बिग क्ले जार्स ऑफ ड्रिंकिंग वॉटर आर कैप्ड फॉर द यूज ऑफ सच पीपल हैव यू सीन दिस क्ले जार्स ऑन द रोड ड्यूरिंग समर येस यू माइट हैव सीन दिस वॉटर इज ऑफर्ड फ्री ऑफ चार्ज दिस इज नोन एज पानपोई Here we have finished with our lesson. We have seen different ways of storing water. So, don't waste water. Use it economically and carefully. As we all know, water is life. So, save water, save life. Kindly subscribe our channel to receive further notification. Thank you.